Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Last week on Around the Verse, we had a really detailed rundown on the atmosphere and stamina systems. This week, Tony Z, who's in charge of designing the Persistent Universe, gave us a detailed rundown on the Mission Giver system. Subsumption is a term used to describe a type of artificial intelligence whose purpose is to define a behavior based on sensory input, goals, and rules. It's actually pretty unique because it can scale by adding more and more layers of behaviors in a hierarchy. It's being coded such that decisions can be autonomously made based on the real-time situation as detected by the code. The behavior is being calculated through the rules from the lowest priority to the highest priority, resulting in a plan and a behavior. Subsumption is being built upon other key systems which weren't complete. It's key to the next iteration, which is why the wait for 3.0 has been so long. With that out of the way, here's what you need to know. This new system replaces all the placeholders that we've been using to date with a combination of handcrafted and procedurally crafted missions. The focus is always on the quality and realism of the missions, but there's interest and diversity of varied challenges for you to experience. The goal is that you should be able to play how you like and expect the game universe to react to your behavior and offer an appropriate tailored experience. Follow the rules and you're treated as a citizen. Cause a commotion and the game takes special interest in you. For this to work, as a minimum, your reputation and a general concept of ownership needs to be tracked. Choice and consequence is a real-world reality that's being modeled into the game. Recently, we've heard game developers comparing creating Star Citizen to building a skyscraper. To the passers-by, the on-site planning and excavation may seem to take forever, with very little visible progress. As soon as the foundation's done, the progress is deliberate but seems remarkably quick compared to the months or years of invisible progress. As I said earlier, subsumption improves as more and more rules are added to tailor the output. If the game system knew that the area was lawless, you may stumble upon a ship being attacked by three pirates and no help expected. If the area was a well-patrolled piece of space, the same scenario might have the addition of local security jumping in to help fight off the attack. This is exactly what's meant when the developers talk about a procedural mission system. The game does an assessment and provides the player an appropriate experience that will scale to the situation based on their reputation and history. This idea extends to scaling the scenario based on your group, and you may have already seen this in previous versions of the PU. Jumping into a sector with five friends all in sabers versus you jumping in solo flying an Avenger would require a different resistance. The enemy might change from one pirate Gladius to five Super Hornets plus a Vanguard. By putting all the effort into offloading all the manual missions into a detailed subsumption hierarchy, the designers can let automation offer the players the diverse challenges. They can spend more time expanding the variation instead of manually tooling all the millions of possible missions. Let's say an NPC is only programmed to know if they're a trusting or suspicious personality. This would enable the NPC to react differently as you approach. They may hug the wall or simply walk straight. Now, if that NPC also knew its own wealth, its race, its job, its education, where it was born, who its friends are, who its enemies are, the possible reaction pool can expand and become more lifelike. Adding personality traits such as morality, restlessness, intelligence, determination, all this would further define how the character reacts. All the tooling and back-end work is the foundation of our skyscraper. All the front-loaded effort that was invested will automate realistic behavior, saving time while improving the experience. Star Citizen's not putting NPCs on rails like most other games. Why not instruct the NPC what apartment it lives in, and then it works from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m as a sales clerk at Cubby Blast. In its off hours, the NPC could be just part of the backdrop, shopping, going to the bar, and going home to bed. At 7.45 in the morning, the NPC would try to arrive on time and start its shift. This opens up a super complex hierarchy where if you impeded the character from reaching work on time, the character would react based on its programmed personality. It might simply break down and cry. It may become more aggressive and try to push you out of the way. It may call the police, and it may draw a weapon and try to kill you. Its reaction is based on the layers that it's been given. The layers define its artificial intelligence, and this is subsumption. While it's on its way to work, the NPC is free roaming, finding its own path based on what's happening in the game. The term pathfinding was used, and that refers to the NPC's mobility combined with the meshing of captured animations. This gives the NPC freedom to navigate off the rails as its hierarchy dictates. Blending all the animation transitions takes time to make look seamless and believable. So there you go. The subject is very complex and I hope that this quick overview answers most of the questions you may have had. 
If you like this channel's no bullshit approach, please do me a solid and share it and the links to the videos that you like with your friends and orgmates. My goal is to grow this channel and I can't do that without the help of citizens like you. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.